This is how you track expenses down to the penny using GNU Cash. First, you'll log into your bank of choice and try to download your transactions as a QFX file. So for US Bank, I have a download button and I can provide a date range and we need a Quicken QFX file. I'm just gonna limit it to the last week and click download. And then we're gonna take this file and we're gonna store it in a very special place that we'll be able to retrieve it from later. For me, I have a finance folder, a GNU cache folder, and a data sources folder. Now we're gonna launch GNU cache And then we're going to file import the file and it needs to be the QFX file. If you are setting up GNU cache for the first time, I recommend you just take the personal finance default account structure and you can add and remove accounts to your taste based off their starter accounts. So the most recent file that we generated floated to the top. I'm gonna to click import. And here we see my most recent transactions. And what GNU Cash does is it tries to automatically match your transactions based on uh, the description and if you've already mapped it to an account before. So here, this is a housing payment. And if I double click it, I'm gonna put it as a housing expense. This one, it was red, it was unable to map this one, but it was also a housing expense. And then when I come back the next time, it's gonna to try to use natural language processing to map the description to an account next time. So it, there's also automation in place to avoid duplicate transactions from being entered. These are all just the new ones. We see these are all just from 614, but I made a date range all the way to 610. It's ignoring the duplicate transactions. So SXM Satellite Radio, that was an online service account. This one, it couldn't map because it was red. So Casey's, that's a gas station. I'll double click, put that as an expense, auto fuel. And these were a bunch of vending machines on a road trip. So these are gonna go in my restaurants category. These were also vending machines on a road trip. So food restaurants. This was the Illinois Skyway. This is actually a toll so I'm actually going to change this one to auto fees. And this one, United States Postal Service, this is in relation to a housing expense, so housing. And then we'll click Save. And now we imported our transactions. And GNU Cash uses double entry accounting where it balances all the expenses uh, based on my checking account, my current assets. And then we can generate lots of reports from this. So we're gonna, let's look at some of those key reports that you would be most benefited by. So in the reports drop down income and expense report, and then there is the expense chart. And this tracks your expenses over time, every month. And it's been updated with what is in uh, your accounts data. And you have all these options to configure it to show a step size of a week, more than a month, if you would like. And then when you apply it, it shows uh, that more granular detail.
and you can save your custom report configurations. And for me, this is how I like to see my expenses with the maximum amount of categories. And you can hover over it to see what's your big expense, restaurants, groceries, transportation. Uh, sometimes you have housing payments. I was on a vacation, started renting, and then your categories uh, going up from there. Another important report is going to be your uh, net worth over time. So we can see every one of these is is a week. And then you can you can track your difference in assets over a month. Your network in o via over a month. Another important report is going to be an income and expense report where you can map your income to expenses. So yeah, I haven't gotten a, a, a second paycheck of the month. So it looks like my uh, net profit is negative so far, but you can see in the green bar, this is this would be your profit every month. The income and expense report is right here. Mine's pretty much the same as the default. And that net worth line chart is an assets and liabilities net worth line chart. And I did some custom options on there. And that is a brief introduction on how to manage your expenses with GNU Cash for free.